Hi there and welcome to my new office. It took over a year to build this new space here and we remodeled this building here. It used to be my garage now. It's a two-story building that not only has this office but an entire guest suite, potentially four director with a bathroom and kitchen that they can stay over as we're cutting films. It's getting close to be done now. I'm in the process of moving in so you see a lot of stuff in there. And I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to give you a tour and also do a little upgrade on my setup. You may know that I've worked with a company before, so this is actually a sponsored video by FlexiSpot. And they sent me a new standing desk and a new chair. Uh, in this video, I'm going to unbox and review, set up, show you if it works. So with that, let's get started. All right, so this is my new space here. It's more than twice the size of my old office. And we're actually on the second floor. I have a nice little balcony right here that I can show you. It's a little rainy today, but that'll be a nice area to sit outside, take a break, have a coffee while I'm uh, working on stuff. This is what I got right now in the mail. Today, we're gonna be unboxing. First of all, there's a chair from FlexiSpot. It's an ergonomic chair. And then also a desk. This is an oversized desk. It's 55 inches right there, you can see. It's a real nice desk, bamboo, 55 inch wide, 28. And what I wanna create is this really nice editing bay where I'll be sitting here, I'll be working. I'm probably gonna have another monitor over here. I already have that set up. But then also have my director kind of sit in that area. We're gonna get a light nice little table over here and then over here have just one more station where potentially an assistant can work or i just basically have a second computer system that the director can work off if they want to like review cuts and give notes and then i have this tv here that's like 65 inches and it's actually on a swivel so this can come out and it can go in either direction. That's the idea. I mean, we're gonna try and figure this out. I sort of feel like this chair needs to go somewhere else. And then I have still these. One of them is a new Mac Mini that I'll set up as an assistant station and then go from there. Alrighty, let's get started with unboxing. <laughs> That's heavy. The desk's built with thicker leg columns that move smoothly, ready to hold 355 pounds. Screws, power. Oh man. The frame of the E7 is made of carbon steel. It's sturdy and stable. 15 pounds each, I would say. The premium LCD keypad comes with a USB port and a child lock button. Okay. What else? <laughs> Alrighty. That's pretty straightforward, not too many parts. Now we're gonna build it. And now it has to go here. Put some screws on a desk. It's a little bit cheaper because you have to do part of the work, right? It's easier to deliver. But it also gives you a little bit more attachment to a piece of furniture. If you know you've built it, you feel like you understand how it works and how it got to the point where it is right now. Okay, good stuff. Next is install tabletop. Okay. The desk comes in various width up to 80 inches wide and various colors. Wow. This is 75 pounds easily. Boom. Perfect. Now we're gonna do the tray. <coughs> It also comes with an embedded cable tray to hide all your cords underneath the desk. Okay, I think I got it. Now we're gonna turn this baby around. Boom. Let's plug that guy in. All right. Let's see if we can bring it up. Yes, we can. There we go. The 
E7 is a high quality desk providing performance and durability backed by a 15 year warranty. Oh, these are rollers. I can put this table on rollers. Yes. These can also be locked so they don't roll away. I love this desk and the chair. The key to a healthy workday is change. So sitting, crossing your legs, leaning back, standing. Whoa. It's all good. Again. Heavy. And that's why it's so important to have a standing desk that also allows you to sit. <sighs> oh my god, nice. I can obviously do all the, the things you do on a chair, but if you look at this, I can put my foot here. There's like a little footrest, very thoughtful. Push the armrest to move them from left to right. Oh, okay, I see this. I see what you're doing. The arms can also extend up to 1.7 inches to the front and the back. It swivels, very flexible. How to adjust the seat position. Lift the handle at the side and slide your seat back and forth until you found the perfect sitting position. Got it. Oh, this feels real nice. The lumbar support, very nice. The lumbar support can be moved up and down to give you optimal ergonomics. Locks in. Good. Got it. Ooh. Okay. So there's a USB right here. And obviously I can go up and down. The maximum height is 48.4 inches, which is good for a tall person standing at 6 feet and 4 inches. Let's say this is going to be my standing position. Now there should be a way to store this. I'm going to press the M button and then three, standing position. Good. And then I'm going to go down to 27 inches, right? And I'm going to do M4. Boom. So now it automatically goes to standing. Good. And the way you want to stand best is 90 degree angle of your hands. This feels really nice. I'm going to try this for a while as my standing position. And then I'm done. I'm going to go. I want to sit down in my new chair. Ah, oh, so comfy. And I'm just going to press the sit button. And it's going to go where it needs to go by itself. If you're interested in this desk, there's a special link in the video that you can try out. I'm sure there'll be some sales every now and then. Check out this nice chair. It really feels even more comfy than my old chair. It really gives me back support. That lumbar is awesome. I personally like to mix audio while standing, but I prefer to sit for cutting. If you're interested in this desk or chair, check out all the sizes and colors by clicking my link in the video description. Now, I used to do quite a lot of product reviews on one of my other YouTube channels. This is how I learned how to make good content because products generally come with a built-in audience as YouTube is still the number two search engine in the world. Currently, I'm developing a free course called The Content Filmmaker. It's where I share some of the most critical steps to get started with YouTube. If you're interested in this three lesson mini course where I show you why it still makes sense to make video content, especially if you're a filmmaker, and how to get started, simply check out my link and enroll for free to The Content Filmmaker. Thanks for watching and happy editing. And this concept is called The Big Five for Life. And it comes from a book by John Stravacki. He talks about a safari. When people go on a safari, whether they think it was a great experience or just a...